guys welcome back to my channel so welcome again to waste or worth it wednesday today's video is going to be the very hyped and anticipated and the most questioned products that i think i've ever reviewed on my channel Tons of you have been asking me about this new foundation this is the maybelline super stay better skin foundation and concealer i've had these babies in my possession for about two weeks now testing them out trying them with different weather um during the night in the morning all day half day and i have a pretty good um opinion i guess about how i feel on this specific product now i am wearing this on my face today i have the foundation obviously all over and then i have the concealer um, pretty much all over the places where i tend to highlight um, the color that i have for this maybelline uh, foundation is 50 natural beige and this one i got it in the color light medium i know that this is in my skin color and i know i'm not this light but I wanted to pick one that was going to be two to three shades lighter than my skin tone so I can use it for highlighting purposes. Now, unfortunately, my camera was acting up and I didn't realize that I wasn't filming me applying this foundation. But when I went back to, uh, to check the files, nothing was there. So I'm sorry that I don't have a demo this time. You guys know that I always like to demonstrate how a certain product applies. Nonetheless, um, I will try to incorporate this foundation into some of my upcoming makeup tutorials. So let's go ahead and get into the review and let's see if this is waste or worth it. So I'm first going to start with the foundation. Um, it's a really cute packaging. I actually really like this. Um, Maybelline has, I think, some of the cutest packaging in my opinion as far as um, foundations go it's in a glass bottle which is not the best if you're trying to travel because these can easily break um, but I do like that it has a pump which is so convenient for many of us I personally don't like foundations that don't come with a pump just because it can get very messy and sometimes you just end up wasting more products now this foundation claims to look like your skin but a little bit better and supposedly they say that with time this is supposed to help your skin i really don't ever buy into those type of gimmicks when a foundation comes out with that just because i don't know i don't think that any foundation truly can help your skin that's just my personal opinion now the color selection on this is okay i don't think maybelline has like amazing color selection Especially for me, I don't have yellow undertones. I have more of those like olive honey undertones. And I feel like it's always so hard to find a good foundation with the right undertones for me. This one in natural beige, it's a little, I feel like it is a little too light for me. But then the next shade up is just way too tan. And I honestly rather get this shade and make it work with um, a bronzer and blush and everything because it looks better now this foundation I would say it's medium to buildable full coverage it doesn't completely just conceal everything if I ever have a blemish then I just take a little bit of it go back and dab it onto my skin and then reapply it now my favorite way of applying this foundation is with a sibling brush because I feel that with a beauty blender it just kind of shears away the foundation and if i want full coverage then i just apply it with a flat top kabuki brush or just any brush that is going to give you full coverage now do i love this foundation no i don't love it it is definitely not my favorite from maybelline i will give you a close-up of how my skin looks with this foundation i've noticed that even though i am oily sometimes my skin just gets really dried because once a week i do microdermabrasion on my skin and i exfoliate my skin so sometimes my skin needs that extra um, replenishment or it just needs extra oils so sometimes it dries up from here and then sometimes like from here and here <clears throat> Right now I do have a little bit of dryness going on into the middle of my forehead and again you will see a close-up of this 
and this does tend to cling on to dry patches at least for me it does I believe I get about three three to four hours of wear with this foundation and about two hours into wearing this foundation I definitely start to see my oil peek through I am oily and right here it just gets not super greasy but I can see some grease so I do have to blot away or I just have to set my foundation but if you're looking for something that's going to be on the lightweight because I do find that actually I do find that it's not heavy it's not cakey on the face it is pretty lightweight which is something that I can appreciate so with that being said I don't think this is a waste of your money I think it is a good foundation it's not the best for oily skin it's not going to keep you mats um, and with that said actually I feel like this is a semi matte finish so again it's not a full matte if you are extremely oily I don't think you should get this because it's just going to be a hot mess all over I feel like I'm mostly oil on my t-zone and then the rest of my face is normal but again if you're looking for something that's going to be on the lightweight side but it's going to provide medium coverage I think this is going to be a good foundation to try out now this is the concealer that I got again this is light medium and it is a little light for my skin tone again and it does have a little bit of pink undertones which I don't really like but this is amazing I love 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 this concealer I've actually been wearing it pretty much on a daily basis it reminds me so much of the Urban Decay Weightless, Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer the new one that came out um, I still love my Urban Decay more than this one, but I would say it's pretty high up there with that um, concealer. I like it because it is very lightweight when you apply it. It doesn't feel heavy on the eyes. Sometimes when I apply a certain concealer, I can just feel that I have it underneath my eyes. And with this one, I don't. It's very light, and I would say that it's light to medium coverage. So it does hide, you know, if I ever have dark circles or anything like that it does hide them for me now with any concealer for me unfortunately I crease no matter how much I blend and how fast I set my powder I just crease because I have those natural wrinkles underneath my eyes so with this one I still crease um, I don't know some people may not crease with this but again regardless of what I wear I crease no matter what I would say if you're hesitant about the foundation maybe skip the foundation and go straight to the concealer I really think it's an awesome concealer and I'm going to continue to use it I might just get a shade darker just so I can like balance them out and maybe mix and match them so I think that is everything that I wanted to talk about these to I hope I touched base on everything um, of course if you have any questions let me know and I will answer them for you for me again this is not a waste of your money but it just it depends on your skin type now the concealer I think this is totally worth it and I really 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 like it I love that Maybelline did a nice lightweight but yet full coverage concealer so that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for watching again. Waste or worth it Wednesday. And until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.